guys, this is Eddie. I got cold feet when I drive my Ford F-150. No, it's not because I'm scared of driving my F-150. I got a 2018 F-150, and I'll tell you, my feet get cold. My, 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 in my, you know, my foot sits here on the gas pedal, and my other foot generally sits around here, right next to the, uh, the F-150 on the mat here. So this is where my other foot sits or I have it up here. My issue is my feet get cold while I'm driving, uh, especially here in New England. I mean, we have some pretty cold days. And uh, so I checked up underneath the dash here and this is what I came across. All right, the, this, this is your heat vent for the floor on the driver's side. This heat vent, it, it pushes the air across the top of your feet. Like, so it's behind your pedals here. This is where you feel the air. You feel no air down here. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what I mean, all right? So I'm gonna use a uh, lighter here and I'm gonna show you, this is where my driver's foot would normally be right on the gas pedal, right? So if I put it here, there's just, there's no air at all. I mean, all along this whole area, there's, there's no airflow. But you get up here where this is not where my foot is. My foot's not way up here. It's down on, on the bottom of the pedal. Same thing with my other foot. So if, if I bring the lighter out here, this is where my other foot sits. There's no airflow, nothing. It's just sitting there doing nothing. And where all the air is, is up, way up here, where this is not where I keep my feet. I mean, my feet do not sit way up here underneath the dash. And obviously they don't sit up underneath the, the brake pedal either. So if my foot was on the brake pedal, it would still be cold. So you get past the brake pedal and then that's where the airflow is. So here's my, here's what I came up with, all right? You know, it looks like a mask that we have to wear. But anyways, it's not. What I did was I took a piece of uh, milk carton and I made this little adapter out of the milk carton. And what I do is I just install it. I just use tape to, as a prototype for right now. I am gonna use some um, some speed nuts and some screws to mount it up top there. So basically, let's show you what I did. All right, so, and I'll show you how I did it with the milk carton as well. So basically I just took some duct tape, duct taped it to the top here. All right, I went around the back side there. And then I duct taped the back side of it there, in which this is where I can put my, my speed nuts. And I'll show you what I mean by speed nuts in a minute. So there, so the air is redirected here. Now watch where the air flows. All right, so before we had it all up behind the, behind your feet, right? I mean, behind the, uh, up, way up in the dash area. See, there's no airflow now. Now the airflow, if you follow it right to the gas pedal, look. I can't, I can't even do it there. So right by the gas pedal, I mean, you don't have any airflow here, but as soon as you get your foot over to this area here, right in this area where my foot would normally be sitting on the gas pedal, I have airflow now. I mean, and my feet get super hot. You can't even light the lighter here. You go up behind there, you have plenty of, you got no airflow. And then you come in front, boom, right at the gas pedal, I got some airflow on my feet. And then when I come back here where the F-150 symbol is, I have airflow over here. I mean, it's on, it's on low right now, but you can see that the air is, is being pushed in this direction. So I have warm feet in my F-150 and I am so happy because my feet were always freezing. Okay, so let's see how I did it. Where did I get this, this little uh, air diverter and how can you make it? All right, so what I did was I just used an almond milk, milk container, um, but you can use uh, any type of, uh, you know, one gallon jug that you milk or whatever comes in. Um, and it should have a nice corner on it where you can create a diverter. So I was just trying to figure out a, a, a simple way of designing it. And I just figured if I could get the air to flow in this way and go out that way, 
it would be perfect. And then I could make two little flanges at the bottom here. So basically what I did was I just traced this out freehand and I came up with this design. So I make it a little longer on the back side here, um, on the two flat sides. So you can mount that to the, um, with the Ventus. And then you just cut out the corner. You probably just have to cut a little V in the corner, depending on how your container's um, designed. You just have to cut this out so that you can make some some little flanges here. That And basically I just want this to sit right against the panel like this. So I guess it'll be a little easier just showing you, right? So this panel comes out pretty easy. You got a, a, a bolt that goes right here. Uh, it is, it's a nine thirty second socket. Um, so you can just pull that out and then you got a bunch of uh, white clips back here that just snap into place. Um, that, that you just snap out of place actually. So anyways, you want your two flat surfaces so it meets this 90 up here. And you want your 90 here to be this right here. So that's the way it fits on the jug, okay? All right, so believe it or not, I was trying to make this out of metal. I was trying to bend metal to, to get this, this uh, shape, you know? And then uh, I couldn't do it. It just wouldn't, wasn't coming out right. It just, it didn't work right. It was too heavy. And then I said, you know what? The whole car is made out of plastic. And I was taking out the recycling one day and I'm like, look at that. That looks like it might be the right angle. So believe it or not, uh, that's how it happened. So anyway, so instead of trying to cut this out, you know, with a utility knife on the nice lines and stuff, I mean, basically just, just cut it out first, you know, get it started, get it cut out of here. Um, you don't have to make a, you don't have to make it all nice and pretty right out of the gate because you can trim it up later, you know, just get the, uh, the, the basic design cut out and then you can go back in later and trim it all up and make it look nice and pretty and make it fit, make it fit as nice as you want it to fit. Up here it's a little bit thicker. So, so here we go. You have your basic design. And then just go back here later, trim this baby out. If I had a good pair of scissors, it'd be even better, right? But uh, hey, we work with what we got, you know? Like I said, that's your basic design. So you just want to get it to that point. Um, there's a ridge at the top here. I'm just going to go right to the top of that ridge and go straight across. There you go. And then what I did was I just cut a little, that little square edge out of there. Now your container might not have that. So I really wouldn't even worry about it if it doesn't. Um, but you will have to put some kind of slit here, possibly, to go around that 90. All right, get that there. And then these are, I just made these two little tabs. I just basically just folded them up and made them like little wings, you know? So I had a surface to, to mount it to the truck. And then that's it. That was it. That was the whole design, guys. And that's how easy it is. And like I said, this is, uh, did you see how quick I did that? I did that, what, like two or three minutes? And then basically, tr try this first. Just tape, take some tape and try taping it on the little fins here first. Put it up there. You may not even like that amount of heat on your feet. I'm telling you one thing, though. I do. So give it a shot first. See how it works. Um, you may want to leave this a little bit longer to bring the airflow even in even more. You know, you can come down even further. Uh, oops, you can go. Actually, you can't. That's about as far as it goes. So try it out first. See if you like it. 
I'm telling you though, it's gonna make a huge difference in the temperature of your feet in your truck. So, I mean, this doesn't have to be just a, a Ford. This could be Chevy, uh, you could do a Dodge. I'm sure that they're pretty much basically all the same underneath there. I don't know how their air is diverted though. So hopefully, um, you know, this works out for other trucks as well. Or cars, doesn't matter. Um, my other, my Lexus, my feet get super hot. So anyway, that's it. That's, that's all it is. So let's go install this baby. Just for a prototype, I just, taped it here and here and it diverted the air like awesome i mean i can't even believe the difference in my feet temperature i have to turn my heat down now because my feet get so hot and i'm sure in the summertime it's going to be just as nice when it's super hot out and i want the ac on my feet so all right so this is a speed nut um what it does is it fits over the material and then back here is where your screw um, catches a metal surface instead of just holding it in the plastic it'll catch this metal edge here and it will tighten down so basically you want to put it on your on your um, air diverter and this is where you're going to locate your screw all right put put another dot over here on the other on the other wing let's call it a wing all right so you get your two dots there basically you just got to punch a hole in this. I don't care what you use. You can use a drill. You can use a punch. Or you can use a pick. I don't care. Use a barbecue skewer for all I care. Um, but you just got to put a hole in it and make sure, you know, it goes all the way through. It doesn't have to be too big. Just enough to uh, fit a screw head through there. All right. So it looks just like that. Google hole on each side. All right, come over to your panel. And on the back side of the panel, you got some foam here. And the edge is, there's like a, a thick edge right here, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna have to trim that down right where that speed nut's gonna go. So I'm gonna just line it up like this, make sure that it's gonna divert the air where I want it. I'm gonna just make a Make a mark there and make a mark here so I know where it's gonna go, where the screw's gonna go. All right. Need a better mark than that though. I can't see it. I can't see it, Captain. Okay, so we want just like that. You wanna make sure this is on the edge because that's that speed nut is only so big, you know. So it's only gonna it's gonna go down to like here. So just make sure it's it's close to your edge, so the speed nut can reach it. And like I said, mark those two areas. So when you mark the two areas, make sure that they, the the, the tube that delivers the air is not gonna uh, be interrupted when you go to in, reinstall this by the, by the screw going through here. Otherwise, you'll have to trim that screw back. Um, but I think if you get it far enough away from here um, you should be okay all right so if you use a nice sharp razor blade brand new um, this stuff cuts pretty easily so basically you find out where your screw is going to be going through here you mark it out cut down the plastic on both sides I should be doing this so you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, so I got that all marked out. I'm gonna just take my knife, slice down through the plastic. That just just the ridge there. That's all you want is just the ridge. No need to remove any more than necessary. So, you can see I trim that piece out, trim that piece out, all right. You have different speed squares, I mean, <laughs> you have different speed nuts too. You don't have just one size. You got all different sizes. I went with the bigger size because of the size of the panel.
the thickness of the panel. All right, I'm gonna use some short black screws to install uh, the diverter there. But guys, you don't have to do this, the speed nuts or anything. You can use, if you got a pop rivet gun, you can use a pop rivet. Holy crap, you just put that in there, snap it, boom, it's permanent. You know, you'll never have a, that thing fall off. Uh, I'm just doing it this way because this is the stuff I have. I figured not everybody has a, a rivet gun. So, and I guess everybody, not, not everybody has uh, speed nuts either. But you can actually just put the, you know, a small hole in the plastic and then just uh, put the, put the uh, screw right through the plastic. I mean, it would hold pretty well. I mean, there's, you know, yeah, you have vibration and stuff down there, but really wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to slip this on now. And I'm going to put my... My speed nut right on there like that all right and uh put my other one on here if i can find it put on there. all right so it's all set up and that's the way it looks all right just gonna put some uh some, put some screws in there Put my screws in there and we're done. Hopefully this doesn't hit the tube out back. That would really suck. I have to trim the tube if that's the case. That's all right. I'm gonna have warm feet. You know, depending on what kind of tools you have and what, what kind of uh, um, supplies you have, I mean, you can really do this just about any way. You can even, you know, spray paint this black so it matches. I mean, you're not even going to see it once it's up underneath there. But that's the finished product, guys. You get a nice air diverter. It came out of a, uh, um, an almond milk jug, all right? I'm going to go pop this back in and show you what it looks like. And it's all done. All right. So it's all back in, snapped in place. I know you guys are probably like, how does that panel come off? Well, there's, it's, it's, you just stick your fingers up next to the panel and you just, I mean, at the top of the panel and you just pull down. Those clips are right behind the panel. So they just pop off and they just snap back in. Um, the only screw you have is that one up top next to the vent and other than that this thing's gonna kick ass now my feet are gonna be so warm i mean i've already had it as a prototype taped in place but uh, the tape got hot and kind of melted off so i figured i'd give you guys an idea of how to do it that's uh, uh more permanent but uh yeah this is gonna work out great i love it um makes my feet nice and toasty warm and I have to actually turn the heat down because my feet get too hot. So it's nice. And I know a lot of women are going to like this. So if you're driving F-150 and you're looking to warm up your feet, this is the way to go. So guys, any questions, comments, leave them in the box below. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.